Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from Pharmacology chapter General Consideration of Antimicrobials. That is, it is an introduction to uh, antibiotics. This is one of the important chapter. Some basic concepts of different antibiotics are uh, discussing in this chapter. Uh, now we will go to the first question. The first question of this video. Choose the antimicrobial which acts by interfering with the DNA function in the bacteria. The antibac antimicrobial which acts by which interfere with the DNA function of, in the bacteria. Options are option A chloramphenicol, option B ciprofloxacin, option C streptomycin, option D vancomycin. The correct answer for this question is option B ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin is the correct answer. Ciprofloxacin will cause it will inhibit it will inhibit DNA gyrase. DNA gyrase. That's why it interferes with DNA function. Inhibit DNA gyrase. So ciprofloxacin is the example for this. I mean uh, uh, answer for this question now we will move to the next question question number two which antibiotic is primarily bacteriostatic but becomes bacteriocidal at higher concentration it's primarily bacteriostatic but when its concentration is high it will act as bactericidal options are erythromycin tetracycline chloramphenicol ampicillin the correct answer for this question is erythromycin that is macrolide antibiotic erythromycin is the correct answer it will be bacteria it is bacteriostatic actually but when it is uh, given in higher concentration it acts as bactericidal once the mcq is over we will see the important points coming under this chapter that is the different classification according to the mechanism of action and also the based on the chemical nature these things are very important and what are the bacteriostatic uh, antibiotic what are bactericidal antibiotics and based on spectrum of activity that is broad spectrum and narrow spectrum all this we will see in after this mcq so we will move to the third question of the video select the antibiotic that has high therapeutic index the antibiotic which has a high therapeutic index options are streptomycin doxycycline cephalexin then option d vancomycin the correct answer for this question is cephalexin which has high therapeutic index cephalexin now we will move to the next question question number four super infections are more common with super infections are more common with options are option a use of narrow spectrum antibiotic option b short courses of antibiotic option c use of antibiotics that are completely absorbed from the small intestine option d use of antibiotic combinations covering both gram positive and gram negative bacteria super infections are actually they are the appearance of new infection it's actually new infection is appeared as a result of a antimicrobial therapy when any antibiotic is given after that a new infection is came that is called super infection so here the super infections are more common with the correct answer for this question is option d use of antibiotic combination covering both gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria it will make cause it may cause super infection question number five select the antibiotic which whose dose must be reduced in patient with a renal insufficiency whose dose must be reduced in patient with a renal insufficiency options are ampicillin chloramphenicol topramycin erythromycin the correct answer for this question is topramycin topramycin that is glycoside antibiotic now we will move to the sixth question the which antimicrobial should be avoided in patients of liver disease 
which antibiotic which antimicrobial should be avoided in patients of liver disease options are tetracycline cotrimoxazole that is trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole combination in the 1 is to 5 combination that is also important I will write it down here cotrimoxazole is, is trimethoprim trimethoprim plus sulfamethoxazole sulfamethoxazole is known as cotrimoxazole in the combination ratio 1 is to 5 that is trimethoprim in 1 and sulfamethoxazole 5 so here is the question which antimicrobial should be avoided in patient of liver disease options are tetracycline, cotrimoxazole, cephalexin, ethambutol the correct answer for this question is tetracycline tetracycline so this one I think yeah, it's, uh, topramycin is coming under aminoglycoside we already discussed this one uh, aminoglycoside anyway I have to write it down here aminoglycoside topramycin is an example for aminoglycoside antibiotic now we will move to the last question of this video select the drug combination which does not exhibit supra additive synergism supra additive synergism this is a type of synergism option a nandic nandic acid along with the nitroferrandoin the question was does not exhibit supra additive synergism option a nandic acid and nitroferrandoin amoxicillin with the clavulanic acid that is augmenting pyrimethamine and sulfadoxin sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim that is cotrimoxazole septrin dsol are coming under i mean uh, the brand name of this combination the correct answer for this question is naldexic acid around with the nitroferrandoin that is does not exhibit supra additive synergism all are others that's option b option c option d are supra additive synergism it's an example for supra additive synergism so these are the multiple choice from this question this uh, chapter now we will see the important points regarding uh, this chapter that is uh, in general consideration of uh, antimicrobials here the mainly the uh, the important thing is classification antimicrobials are classified first one based on the chemical structure chemical structure this one we already we are studying in the uh, pharmaceutical chemistry also anyway i am discussing here the first one is Sulfonamides. First one is sulfonamides. Sulfonamides and a related drug. Examples are sulfadiazin, sulfons, that's dapson, then paraminosalicic acid, all are coming under sulfonamides. Now the next one, option number two, diaminopyrimidines. Diamino diaminopyrimidines. Examples are uh, Trimethoprim, pyrimethamine are coming under diaminopyrimidine. Number three, quinolones. Quinolones. Quinolones examples are naldixic acid, norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin, gatifloxacin, all endimethofloxacins are uh, coming under this one, quinolones, along with naldixic acid also. Option 4, that is fourth part, beta lactam antibiotic, beta lactam antibiotic. They are penicillin, cephalosporin, monobactam, carbapenem, all are beta lactam. Fifth one is nitrobenzene derivative, nitrobenzene derivative. Nitrobenzene, example is a chloramphenicol, this is one of the important. Chloramphenicol is coming under nitrobenzene. In the question it came, the antibiotic, the chemical compound which has nitro group in the chain is in that chloramphenicol option was there so I had to select chloramphenicol nitrobenzene sixth one is aminoglycoside that's one aminoglycoside aminoglycosides examples are tobramycin then streptomycin gendamycin all are coming under aminoglycoside seventh one is macrolide antibiotic that is clarithromycin azithromycin then erythromycin macrolides all are coming this one then some nitroimidazole is there yeah, that is uh, nitro nitroimidazole nitroimidazole metronidazole tinidazole all are then 
azol derivative that is miconazol clotrimazole ending with the azol azol fluconazole all are azol derivatives now we will move to the mechanism of action based on the mechanism of action mechanism of action they are one is inhibit cell wall synthesis cell wall synthesis inhibitor cell wall synthesis inhibitors example are inhibitors Examples are penicillin, cephalosporin, vancomycin. Vancomycin also one of the important thing. Most of the people know, students know, penicillin and cephalosporin coming under this cell wall synthesis inhibitors. But vancomycin also is coming under this one. The question will be like that. Vancomycin acts through. Option will be the inhibit cell wall synthesis, protein synthesis inhibitor. I like that. So you have to opt for vancomycin is acting through cell wall synthesis inhibition. Next one, uh, protein synthesis inhibitors. Protein synthesis inhibitors. Examples are protein synthesis inhibitor, tetracyclines, chloramphenicol. All are coming under this one. Chloramphenicol. Then erythromycin, clindamycin. All coming under protein synthesis inhibitor. The third one is. Uh, it will inhibit DNA gyrase. DNA gyrase inhibitor. That one we in the first one, first question it was like that. Option fluoroquinolol. Okay, examples are fluoroquinolol. Example ciprofloxacin. Now another one is DNA synthesis interfere. It will interfere with DNA synthesis. D uh, interfere with interfere with DNA synthesis. The example is. Acyclovir, Zidovudine, antiviral drug. Acyclovir, Zidovudine, all are coming under this one. So these are some important points and uh, uh, we, this one also you had noted down. Broad spectrum, example for broad spectrum antibiotic. Broad spectrum antibiotic are one is tetracycline, another one is chloramphenicol. Tetracycline and chloramphenicol are coming under uh, broad spectrum antibiotic broad spectrum antibiotic antibiotic now bacteriostatic this is also important bacteriostatic bacteriostatic antibiotics uh, this one one code is the c calicut c calicut calicut l l c See here, the first C, this is the code. S yes, for sulfonamides, E for ethambut, I mean erythromycin, E for ethambutol, then C for clindamycin, this A is nothing, L for linezolate, I is nothing, C for uh, chloramphenicol, U nothing, T for tetracycline. So, C carry catch, that is, S yes, for sulfonamides, E for ethambutol, I mean, uh, then erythromycin, then uh, clindamycin, then linezolin, then chloramphenicol, and tetracycline. This is the example for bacteriostatic antibiotic. These are the different important points coming under this question paper, I mean, this chapter. Hope you understood this uh, chapter very well and you had to study anyway this chapter again and this uh, video you can use it as a uh, revision for the revision. I didn't include all the multiple choice question because of the time limit. So uh, I think this chapter is okay. Now I cover this chapter almost 60-70% uh, of that one. So you can study this very well. This is very important as per the competitive exams uh, for a pharmacist and also the prometric exams. This um, when the question will come uh, from the mechanism of action. Example for the cell wall synthesis inhibitor or they will give the uh, medicine name and I ask the, the mechanism of action and the chemical structure also important. Chemical structure especially this uh, nitrobenzene is very important. Nitrobenzene, quinolones, quinolone also coming already came in the examination. These are the important points coming under this uh, chapter. So hope you understood this one. If you like this video, please make thumbs up. And uh, until now, you didn't. If you didn't subscribe the channel, please uh, press the subscription button along with the press bell button also, so that you will get the notification whenever I upload new videos. So thank you guys uh, for watching this video, best of luck.